Years ago, my iPad, I mean my iPod, it had 30 gigs of music on it, completely full. I went over a bump in the van and it unplugged and all 30 gigs of music were lost. I cried, naturally. I didn't have backups for this. Some of these albums were rare. Some of these albums were given to me by friends that some of them were were albums that were made by people that are now deceased that were never put out, okay? That I am the only one that had the copy of it and somehow lost it, okay? I miss those records. Not really. There is so much music to be made in just the worship of Little Walter, Big Walter, and Sonny Boy. Oops, I mean melody, rhythm, and harmony. Th these are the heroes of music. These are the, the people that teach us everything we need to know, and they have literally millions of albums out. <laughs> you know, I can think melodically. When I start to think too melodically, my rhythm suffers. If I think too rhythmically, my melody suffers. If I think too melodically, my rhythm suffers, and I'm not considering what these notes, how these notes relate to the chords. I'm, my harmony suffers. We constantly are finding this perfect balance between these three, three things. When we realize this, the problem is for me, man, I can't even get interested in what it is like a guy like you does on piano and harmony because I'm so interested in pitched percussion, taking three notes and figuring how many different ways I can play those three notes. Like a drum, like a snare drum and two toms. day dude like and so like, you know what i mean so i get i get lost in one of these concepts right for so long that it makes it impossible for me to get lost in another you said an important thing you said you have a very interest you're very interested in tradition harmon traditional harmonica playing that's true and that'll never go away and the more i studied melody rhythm and harmony the more i found and I'm just going to put this out there. Little Walter. And that one pretty much, really only, okay, encompassed a really un wonderful balance of all three of those things. And I include harmony in that. And you can't convince me that Little Walter wasn't aware of these notes and how they interact with each other. I find it incredibly insulting that people will tell me that Little Walter was influenced by Lester Young, and then at the same time, in the same breath, will tell me that there was no way Little Walter was Little Walter was capable of carrying on a conversation about harmony with him, with Lester Young. There's no way. How can you take okay a man who put look at the three draw double bend triple bend. There's probably no worse note you could play in cross harp. Okay, not. Like, you can't play blues and go. It just sounds like crap, right? Yet it's a note that Little Walter uses all the time. But he uses it on the five chord, where it appears as a flat five. And we hear it... But it's only on the five chord. And it's not one lick. It's a different lick every time on every song with every band he ever played. And it's in more than one octave. Don't tell me that he's just some mysterious old black man shooting dope and drinking booze who had the magic of the voodoo in the hoodoo in his playing and he just was doing it because he had it in his heart and his soul. <laughs> Dude, all that might be true. Okay, and I think it probably there is a little all that in there. Okay, but that's not it, dude. It is two 
frequently and in too many places and in too varied a way for it to be accidental. And it's not just that note on that chord. I could sit here all day and we could go through his records and I could show you example after example after example where it's a major third of the four where it's a major third of the five, where it's a flat seven of the four. I could go through every single note in the chromatic scale on every chord practically and show you how Marion Walter Jacobs was thinking harmonically on a level that us white people don't want to give them credit for, dude. For whatever reason, I don't know why. But this isn't something that I ever thought would happen. I got into studying melody, rhythm, and harmony to get away from little Walter licks. Hmm. And the result is I've come full circle and developed a greater appreciation for little Walter than ever before. And the bottom line is, after all of it, all I want to be able to do is this. <laughs> On the one chord with no thinking of harmony. <laughs> well, I guess on that note, well, thank you again for spending your afternoon with us. It was awesome. And uh, thank you, Jason. Thanks, man. That was wicked fun.